Kira Kato Kato, welcome to the Empire Tech Cave, home of the NZ Blokes. I am Dave, your resident tech and gaming guy, and this week we are going to be taking a look at a piece of smart lighting technology for your home. In fact, I've got it right here. Hey Siri, turn on my elements. The elements are on. So behind me, you can see the Nanoleaf Elements Smart LED Wall Panel Lighting Kit. Uh, full disclosure, this was sent to us by Nanoleaf for review. However, all thoughts and opinions on it are my own. So with that being said, let's just jump into this. I'm gonna start by talking about the unboxing and the setup. So I received a Smarter Kit, which is seven hexagonal panels, and I also received an expansion set, which is an additional three hexagonal panels. In the Smarter Kit, you get seven panels, a power supply, you get the smart connectors, and you get sort of the, the sticky backed adhesive panels which you use to affix to your wall. Um, the instructions said that the adhesive things, hang on a minute, I've got one right here. These little puppies here, um, these adhesive panels go onto uh, painted surfaces or you know flat surfaces they are not good for textured surfaces or porous surfaces so you cannot use them on like wallpapered areas um, or you know masonry or brickwork uh, one thing that is also I noticed here is that there are two holes in each of these so I guess if you did want to put it onto a surface like that instead of it being adhesive you could sort of drill through and solidly fix them in place. So here is the final panel uh, of the tin. Now I, I did actually have this put up here and I actually had this little connector stuck to the wall but I took it off because I wanted to see how the uh, how the removal was for them and I've got to say it's really straightforward. I even recorded it so hopefully you can see me now pulling the uh, the adhesive piece off of the wall behind this little bit here. So I'm going to like plug this panel in now just to show you how easy it was to set up um, so first things first uh, I'm going to leave this on whilst I just check its position then I peel this off fix it in place firmly with it being connected to the other panel there in fact why am I talking about it why don't I just show you so I've come up here it's going to go on there clicky clicky uh, it's very simple very straightforward okay that's good pointing the way I want it to and that comes off and it clicks into place there and then I just do that and as you can see it is now attached and if I were to come back to my seat And turn it on it is now part of the scene which is quite cool so that was really easy that was really really easy and that was the same process for setting up all the other panels the only other piece of kit that i needed to get started was a spirit level as i've already mentioned but aside from that the whole process was over and done within a half an hour from start to finish so that was really really good In terms of designing the layout for it, uh, that was a very straightforward process. I used the app, the app was really good, and you can build your design in the app and then go into an augmented reality mode where it allows you to you know, bring up the camera in your room and then tap on the wall and it will 
place the uh, it will place the panels on the wall in the layout that you have sort of come up with and you can get an idea of what it will look like on the wall as a finished product so that was really helpful and I did that before I got started came up with a layout I wanted tweaked it ever so slightly and then you know got stuck right in I quite like these I think they're pretty nifty I like how they look on my wall they look quite nice the purpose of the Elements series of lights is that they are designed to be a bit more purposeful in your home. Uh, now, Nanoleaf have been producing smart LED uh, and ambient lighting panels for, you know, for homes and offices and other interesting spaces like man caves and battle stations and things like that. They've been producing them for a number of years, but this is the first. Uh, this is the first sort of LED panel wall lighting system that they've produced that they want to have a more general aesthetic about it. The point of this is that it is designed to look good whether it is on or off. And as you can see at the moment, it is off. And with the flick of a switch or in fact me going, hey Siri, turn on my elements. The elements are on and that's pretty cool. So this lighting system is designed to produce ambient light and unlike their other LED wall light solutions, the color temperatures that you get in the elements range is designed to go between cool whites at 4000 K and warm glowing whites or much closer to like orange or firelight at 1500k um, it it's a quite a nice setting and behind me i've got it on one of the cooler settings um, so that's sort of you know closer to that um, that 4000k setting which is a much brighter white light than the the warmer sort of 1500k orange tones from sort of your, your firelight range there. Um, I quite like this. This one is called clouds. Um, as you can see the panels will uh, will dim and then you know re relight themselves at random intervals and it's designed to look like you know clouds passing over the panels at certain points of the day. Now if you go to the 1500k setting, that's the kind of color that you get. Oh, also the brightness on this is currently less than 50%. Um, and if you look at the soft whites, which are sort of more this kind of color temperature range, or you've kind of got your extremely sort of cool uh, white lights there, uh, you know, that gives you an idea of the top of it. But I mean, like, you know, if you turn the brightness right up, they are actually quite bright. Um, to the point where I wasn't sure whether or not these were going to um, be able to function in one of the ways that I wanted them to, and that was to provide um, direct lighting behind my monitor for when I'm trying to stream content, you know, because as it sits at the minute, for me, um, there is no direct lighting on my face when I'm streaming, which means that my main source of light for lighting up me is my monitor. And if I'm playing a game with like lots of dark colors, like, you know, well, the screen behind me, it doesn't provide a great source of light. I was actually really impressed at the difference that these make when they're turned up to the maximum brightness and they're set on like their coolest, um, the coolest lighting sort of temperature, if you will. Um, I found them to be really, really effective at keeping a consistent, but not invasive level of light, um, you know, on my face and that was actually really nice for doing some of the streaming pieces that I did. Apart from that, I just think they look cool. Of course, they're ambient lights, meaning that they're not designed to replace, you know, regular lighting in a room, but they can be quite bright and, uh, you know, at nighttime and they can provide a good quality light source as well. I've not noticed any uh, any flickering in the panels, they are all very well constructed. The quality of the product is very high. Uh, the cost is also high. Uh, for the starter kit or the smarter kit, which is the seven panels, the power supply, the control unit, um, you know, and all of the appropriate connectors, that's 430 New Zealand dollars if you're buying them domestically. 
or I think it's not a dissimilar figure if you're buying it from the Nanoleaf website, but it's charged in Australian dollars. And it's an additional 100 and, oh, here we go, $160 for the expansion kit, which is another three panels, but it doesn't include a power supply or a control unit. So it is expensive and it might be off-putting for some people, but what I will say is this. I think the Elements is a great new addition to the Nano Leaf range. And I say that as somebody who doesn't have other Nano Leaf products, but I think that what they set out to do with the Elements uh, range, they have succeeded in doing so. The panels are interesting to look at when they're not powered on as well as when they are providing you with a light source, which is one of the things that they really wanted to do. They wanted it to be like a wee, a bit of an art installation as well as an ambient lighting source. Um, I've taken a great deal of pleasure in putting these together and I love having them on. Um, you know, even at very low brightnesses when I'm, you know, when it's during the daytime and things like that, I just, I like how they look. I think they've done a really good job there. The panels themselves provide you with a, um, a high quality LED based light source as well. And whilst the brightness is not overwhelming, it is certainly brighter than I was expecting it to be. The only challenges that you might have with the elements range is if you were expecting them to be able to produce other color variants than, you know, than your, your soft whites through to your cool whites. But, they do have other nano leaf products if you wanted a full RGB range. Now, I don't really know that I can give this a rating out of 10. It doesn't seem appropriate because I don't have any other sort of things to base it off of. But I will say that I am a fan of the product. And whilst it's not something that I actively sought to put into my life up until this point, now that I've experienced it, I absolutely want to have more of it in my life. And I would, if um, if I am to send these panels back and there is a good chance that we will, because you know that's often the way it goes with review items, I'm probably going to try and source some for myself. You know, now, like I say, they are expensive, but I have two functioning kidneys and three children, so I'm sure I can work something out. A joke, that was a joke. Um, no one would want my kidneys anyway. But in all seriousness, I think I would probably try and um, you know put together some savings and, and buy some of these because I think they're pretty cool. And I think they do a really good job of adding something interesting to any room that they are placed in. So yeah, uh, no rating out of 10 for me here, but I will say that they are a high quality product and they look good when they're powered off and when they're powered on and there are a range of different settings and features that you get with this that you um, wouldn't necessarily get with a normal Nanoleaf product, but that does come at a premium. And if that premium is, an, is not too much for you, then you could do a lot worse than putting some of these in your house. So thank you very much for checking out this Empire Technology Review. I have been your resident tech and gaming guy, Dave. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to give us a subscribe, a like, an alert, you know, thumbs up, and drop a comment, let us know what you liked about it. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down, let us know what you didn't like about it. If we're gonna improve the quality of our videos, we need that feedback, and we love making this content for you guys. Do feel free to check out some other videos on the channel. We have video games, we have consoles, we have PC-based things, we have cars and bikes and all kinds of stuff. You're bound to find something you like here on the channel. If, however, this is your last vi um, video with us today, then I have been your resident tech game guy, Dave. You have been on the Empire, home of the NZ blokes, and I will see you.